Sorry, I had to get a drink. I'm talking way too much. I'm just, I have so much <clears throat> to talk to G-Man about. G-Man, let's walk through memory lane. Years ago, when we decided to become friends. And you are going to come visit me. But anyway, um, no, I don't have a crush on you. Never did. Or we only considered you as a friend. Um, we even exchanged Christmas presents one, one year. You know, you gave my daughter something really cool. She still has not plays with it. The SP, the red SP. She was just playing with it just a few minutes ago. And it reminded me of you. And I was like, I should make a video. You know, I do miss our friendship, but I can't be a friend with so someone like like you. You know, you, you're constantly debating, fighting, talking over pe people, you know, defending an evil person that doesn't want to change or be better. Your name is like Sheenie for Christ, but she's nothing like for Christ, you know? And you keep on defending her. I, I know why. She stated this in videos as well as you, that you were living in her old house and she was giving you money and then all of a sudden she would throw you underneath the bus because she was calling you the n-word and saying you're a thief and you're being friends again and it's just like what the fuck is going on? Like, is, I know you, you need to forgive, you know, forgive, but why go back to it if you know that person that will change and they'll do, do it again. I just don't understand it. You know, if that person was out in the street dying of starvation, I would help. But being a friend, knowing what that person is, you know what I mean? Why? You know, um, like I said, you know, my daughter was playing with something that you got her for Christmas a few years back, and I wanted to make this video because I kind of do miss her friendship, but. I really don't think I would ever get back into the friendship because you need to change and you're not changing, you're getting worse. You know, I don't, I'm very picky on, you know, friends, on picking out the wrong, you know, friends, but obviously I picked the wrong ones and the shitty ones. This is why I don't want to pick any more because all they do is lie, debate, you know, backstab. You know, threaten your daughter and yourself like you know years ago. I'm I'm just saying that what you did. I'm not trying to you know push it back in your face. I just want you to know what you did and what you ruined. And we could have had a good friendship, but I don't see any change in you. Supposed to be, you're supposed to be the mouthpiece for God, and it's just a joke. You and her are just jokes, and that's one of the reasons why I'm so furious and why I make videos for Shani mostly. And I should make more videos on you because y'all are fake ass motherfuckers. I can't stand people like that, especially the ones who act like a friend to you and. What happened to the person that you used to be? You know, the person that called me up in the middle of the night, so happy that you, you, you think you, you, know, some, you helped someone find Jesus? Whatever happened to that person? If God called you to do something, do it the right way. You're not doing it the right way. You're spreading more hate than love. Same as she. I just don't understand why y'all's name. I mean, y'all represent the Lord, and no one takes you seriously, and they think you're a joke, and I do too. Oh well, I just don't know. What can you do? There's really nothing you can do but keep on trying to talk sense into you, people. And have the fucking patience to just be patient. Maybe one day, you know, I try to do better. 
You know what I mean? It's such a pity.